Okay, so I have done some prep work on what I'm gonna do next. I've pulled out uh, the colors of the Distress Oxide that I wanna use that I think goes with this. So I've got Fired Brick, Spiced Marmalade, Fossilized Amber, and Peeled Paint. And so I'm gonna play with these and I've got my glass cutting board so I can put them directly onto it and work with it. I've got stencils and stamps. Just some of them are Tim Holtz, but most of them are just, I got a set on Amazon where I had, gosh, I don't know, a bunch of them, 20 for well, not very much money. And another Tim Holtz stamp. He's got the good ones with like the alphabet and like some handwriting that I like a lot. But his stencils, I wish I'd seen the cheaper stencils before I bought all of his stencils because he's pretty pricey on his. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each signature and look at where I wanna put some of this and Oh, let me also tell you, I went through my napkins and pulled out some that I thought looked like they'd go with the artwork I already have. So, um, I've got some song. I went to the used bookstore the other day and got a French dictionary that, um, dictionary, anyway, it's in French and it's nicely yellowed around the edges, so that'll be good to decoupage on, too. Anyway, look for your used bookstores in your town. Here's um, some of the napkins that I thought had artwork that would look nice with it. So I'm just kind of gathering my, my different pieces and parts. I'll set these aside. That'll be one of the next things I do, too. So I'm gonna go through now, I'm gonna go through these and find where I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn the video on and off so you don't have to put up with me sitting there and hee-hawing over it, what I, where I'm gonna put stuff. So, well, by accident, I cut away, didn't realize it. So I've been stamping away, <laughs> doing all sorts of things with the inks. I've used all my stencils, not all of them, but a bunch of them. And I need to wash up my stamps. But I went over basically like the backs of pages and stamped and I used those colors uh, in the Distress Inks. I used the Shabby Shutters, Pine Needles, Bundled Sage, Tattered Rose, and Chipped Sapphire because those are the colors that went with the, the kit. And so I'm trying to bring in the pink because it's throughout the kit, bringing the green in. I did some stamping with some black ink and I did some um, letters, some of the Tim Holtz letters, alphabet, and also some of his writing. This page, I don't know if you remembered it, but it was the one that I used that ink and I was not happy with it and it came through so what I did is I used those other greens and it's really softened it, knocked it back. So I'm not as, I like it. I think it, I think it's looking good. I thought I was gonna have to just cover the whole thing with gesso, but I like it with the uh, shabby shutters and the bundled sage. And so I, I'm bringing the blue in because there's blue all throughout the kit and that subtle green. There's some more with the pink and better not get these mixed up. <laughs> this was the first kit that I did with the sprays, the Dispress spray. So they're kind of crazy. And did some stamping here with this, brought the pink and the gold fossilized um, amber in there. I took this page and I wanted to bring up the blue. There's a little bit of blue in this flower, but I wanted to play it up. So I did some stenciling on it, went over the fold and just kind of did a little bit of brushing. Stamped this with the blue. 
and the green, pink and fossilized amber on that side. Um, so like I said, just repeating those colors. Here's some more of the pink and the amber. Some more of the blue on the crease and around the edges. Some more of the blue and some of the pink, because I'm not sure what's gonna be opposite it when it's in the, in the journal. And let's see, where'd the other one go? Oh, this is the pages I did at the very beginning. So this I need to stamp on, I feel like, because it's a little too abstract. So I think, let's see if I have any ink. I don't, need something to kind of counteract that. Just use up the ink I've got on my pad. So I guess that was it. I'm gonna come back and do some gessoing after everything dries, that will probably be the next thing. And I, I'm also gonna go and ink all the edges of all the pages, because I haven't done that yet. So I will be back. Okay, I wanted to do uh, one more thing before I ended this video. I got these stamps out and I wanted to just give a shout out to Illustrated Faith. They do these kits and these stamps and I'm gonna go through and stamp these. I just did one, the one that says, God is my strength, I did that one. But they have a lot of uh, really neat stamps. You can get them at Dayspring and you can also get them on uh, Illustrated Faith website. So anyway, I just wanted to point those out since we're doing Bible-based things, you might be interested in these. And if you see the stamps in my journal, you might wonder where I got them. So that's what those are. All right. I'm just kind of dove into these stamps and um, I'm gonna go back to some of these sprays. I know this doesn't make, this isn't orderly, but I, I don't know how you do journaling, but it's not orderly when I do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and do loved on some of these pages I did at the beginning. scratch paper that I did too. Use it up. Clean up with a wet wipe. And I'll sort these out later. 
faith stamp. They've got some neat arrows and things too that need the big block for that. I don't know if these will make it all the way through. I might end up just sewing over some of it, but I thought I'd go ahead and stamp. Seemed like the thing to do. I can always fix it later. Let's see what other colors do I have. Oh, the fossilized amber. Right. Spray some of that on there. See what that does. <laughs> Don't do that. That was upside down. show probably on the on the brown These are all water soluble, so you just throw them in some water and I'll clean them up later. Looking through these, um, see if there's any others. Yes and amen. That's a good one. I like that one. Let's stamp that on some. One at least. Because that's God's answer to us now. Yes and amen. fun sorting these pages out later I know but that's all right and I'm gonna spray this put it on this page again so it doesn't go to waste. Use this page from the journal too while I'm at it. Okay. Well, I just wanted to add that on. <laughs> this has kind of just been a pl just playing around with stuff, seeing what happens. So hope you're doing the same thing at your house. All right, for real. See you next time.